I was Kevin Cronin, aka Mr. Craw, and I was told to do a kind of a, a resume of my film and music career to date. Um, I was born on 10th of December 1974 in Cork City, Ireland, in Erinville Hospital, which I lived almost all my life. I spent a brief spell in England and a couple of times in Dublin, and I've been a few places around Ireland, but I came back home and I've lived here ever since. Uh, jump, jump forward to 1999, I was in a band called Blue Rays, which I spent a good few years, and we had the opportunity to become uh, signed by Polydor Records, but we weren't good enough, so I came home at the time. Uh, I went over there again in 2002, and uh, we tried again to do it, but the music they did at the time, they changed it. We used to do all these kind of uh, music uh, videos, uh, surf music kind of thing, which I wasn't into at the time. But today, if I look back on today and tell myself, geez, I wish I, you know, and I became a good bass player because of it. I came back home then because it didn't work out since. And then in 2003, I appeared on the TV series in, in on TG Carr called The Underdogs. Yep. And it was a Gaelic football reality TV show. And the whole point of it was to uh, assemble a football team to beat the dubs after after the, the famous guy, I can't remember his name, uh, the midfielder from number eight, uh, 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 Mullins, Brian Mullins, he was um, going to, um, he, he obviously made a bet, he said, Drew's did a bunch of lads could beat them, right? I said, that's, that's what it was over. I was on it anyway, uh, down in Flower Lodge, or as, or as it's known as Parky Reno, uh, uh, in, in the summer of, of 2003, and he didn't air it for about, till about October, I think it was, and, uh, and uh, I didn't get on the team, but I, I, I did all right, you know. I've never been at a trial before, a football trial. And I was doing all the catches and the thing. But when I actually came to get the ball and I cut the ball, I turned and I corkscrewed the ball. And that was my chance, I think, because uh, that was it. Like, And uh, I'm also a fully qualified rugby coach, uh, massage, uh, Reiki master. I'm a snooker player. Uh, I had the opportunity about three years ago to play Steve Davis, and I played him in a place called the Macaw Club in uh, Cork City, which, which is a gambling casino. Uh, December, or uh, January 13th, 2000, January 12th and 13th, 2018, I played Steve Davis on a pool table. We played European rules. I thought at the time it was snooker, but and I was practicing snooker all the week to just have a go off him anyway. So he could have put a, a, a red and a yellow. <laughs> that was the idea, two colors, and then he could get a hundred break on me. But actually, I played pool. And European rule is actually kind of my uh, forte, and I took it to him, and he was frightened of the he was frightened of my break. Uh, if you can see in one of my videos there, you can see uh, Steve Davis gets frightened by my break. Um, um, my film career is uh, written on my on my uh, CV here, so uh, I'm a I'm a, I'm a uh, Irish language speak speaker, which which I would like to try and make a film in Irish soon, soon enough. Uh, if I can get, I'm after writing a script to um, a martial arts movie, the Irish language, and hopefully someday I will apply for a, a grant and a few things off the council, and they might help me uh, make a video, right? Uh, I also had a, a band called, in 2005, I tried a bit of music again, and we called Balor, which was a kind of a punk band, a three-piece rock band, which I played around Cork City for a while, played a couple of festivals and all that stuff, but in 2008, we kind of we part of company because people in the band weren't interested anymore. So I I, I had Balor again Balor and I, I reassembled my old band Blue Rays. Even though they were technically called Balor, I got my old guitar player to help me and we played a gig in uh, Cypress Avenue, uh, August Bank Holiday Weekend two thousand and eight in Cypress Avenue in Cork City, which is a big venue for anyone. Which is the next step step on your career. Uh, I made four movies. Uh, I called the shark, which is a, which is a, which made international news at the time, which is on YouTube, and the only thing about YouTube is that they took out a suspense tune in it for a copyright problem, um, and then I made another film called The Biggest Issue, which you can see on 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 Vimeo. That was my first ever film, which was shown on the TV in two thousand and nine, uh, summer two thousand and nine, and you um, just remember, 
uh, yes, about me. And another thing called Classic Cookery, and it was it appeared in two film festivals, uh, the Dare Underground Media Film Festival, The Shark, uh, first year, and the second year, uh, Classic Cookery, my film was shown on that. Um, uh, I'm very good at chess, pool, snooker. I meditate and train every day. I hate the way people treat each other. Uh, practice martial arts. Table tennis player. Uh, Cork, Cork, or uh, I'm going to try and play on the Cork, uh, Cork over forties football team. I'm not bad for forty-seven. I, I know that I don't, I don't uh, do much. I, 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 I spend most of my time training and meditating and stuff. I don't eat any fatty foods or anything like that. I eat just what I'm supposed to eat. I don't eat cakes, chocolate or anything like that. And uh, I have the odd few beers on a Thursday night with my friends in a pool in a bar up the road from my house. Um, this is my Kevin Cronin, aka Mr. Crow, and uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a eager, enthusiastic. Uh, I'm an eager, enthusiastic person with good skills. Like, and, and if you get me to act in your in your movies or whatever, or help with the direction, I'm sure I could be a, good, a valuable asset to your. Uh, teams and um i'm willing to give anything a go within reason of course even if i can do it if i can do it um uh this is kevin cronin uh, aka mr crow from cork city in ireland uh talking to you from my house which i'm not going to reveal to you because i don't want to do that and um hopefully this will be the start of a something beginning a beautiful new beginning between us you and me thank you for tuning in and goodbye Up. What do you stop?